Prairie falcons are a bird of prey species, which we also call raptors, and they are a mammal specialist, so they primarily feed on Paiute ground squirrels out here in the Morley Nelson Snake River Birds of Prey National Conservation Area. In terms of their ecological role, they are one of the only falcon species that specializes in eating mammals, so most falcon species are either more diverse than that and are not specialists or primarily feed on bird species. So prairie falcons are unique in that they are catching small mammals. Additionally, uh, follow the ground squirrels throughout the year. So once they are done breeding, it actually gets too hot for ground squirrels to continue to be outside. The ground squirrels go into hibernation. And at that point, the prairie falcons move on to areas that are cooler in temperature where the ground squirrels haven't gone underground yet. And so their movement patterns are really linked to their prey source. So we're currently trying to determine whether or not, because prairie falcons are so closely linked with the Paiute ground squirrels that they feed on, whether or not declines in the Paiute ground squirrel populations also mean potentially declines in prairie falcons. We honestly don't know the answer yet, and so one of the things that we're hoping to find out is whether or not prairie falcons are able to what's called prey shift so whether or not they would be able to find alternative food sources that are sustainable and good enough in quality to produce offspring and young in the same capacities as would be if they were feeding on ground squirrels. The issue with potentially prey switching is twofold. One is that the prey that they potentially try to target instead of ground squirrels may not have as high nutritional value. So ground squirrels, we like to call them little cheeseburgers. They're basically like these really densely fat, small mammals. In comparison, something like a starling or a small bird may not have the same level of nutrients or fat or calories. And so while they think that they're capturing a prey item of the same size, it may not actually be giving them the same level of nutrition. We do deploy nesting cameras, so we put out cameras on the nest once it is safe to do so with the parents and the fledglings, and then that can monitor prey deliveries that are being brought to the nest, as well as nesting survival and success. For prairie falcons specifically, we have a number of tracking techniques. The one that we are implementing right now is we do have solar paneled backpacks that our transmitter receivers that go on their back and we have 19 individuals that have backpacks on them that have transmitters. They collect GPS points of their movement and then that GPS points gets uploaded through cell phone towers and satellite transmitters. And so we can pull up all of their tracks. There are tracks collected once every hour outside of the breeding season. And then there are tracks collected every five seconds, three days a week during the breeding season. So we can get really fine scale resolution data on exactly where they're moving, exactly where they're foraging, exactly where they're nesting based on these transmitters. The Data that we're currently collecting, it's very multi multifaceted and there's lots of it. We have hundreds of thousands of points between all of the individuals. We also have thousands of photos with the Nest camera data. So between it all, what we're really hoping to see is whether or not these individual prairie falcons are adapting their behavior to landscape changes. So if they are so closely tied to their food source and their movements and foraging behavior from what we know are so closely linked to ground squirrels, can they adapt that behavior with declines in ground squirrels? We don't know the answer to that yet, um, but we are hopeful because of the fact that the nesting pairs within the NCA, it is the highest, densest concentration of nesting prairie falcons in all of the United States. It is one of the few sources of prairie falcons that's actually increasing in nesting pairs. Anecdotally, this is not published data yet, but anecdotally, nesting pairs elsewhere and individual prairie falcons have been declining. So even if there's a decline in ground squirrels here in the NCA, if we're still seeing a booming prairie falcon population, that says that potentially they're able to adapt to climate change shifts, to anthropogenic influences, to prey shifts um, in ways that we didn't necessarily think before, which would be really exciting.